Now to an update on the attack of a Republican canvasser in Hialeah. One of his attackers appearing in court today. NBC 6's Heather Walker is live at the courthouse with what happened. Heather. The prosecution wanted to keep Javier Lopez in, but in jail behind bars, but the judge decided to grant bond, adding house arrest. Every person charged with a crime in the state of Florida is entitled to pretrial release on reasonable conditions. After listening to hours of testimony and watching video of the attack, Judge Zachary James decided to grant bond for Lopez, but with house arrest, a decision that the victim, Christopher Manzon, disagrees with. These men are, are very dangerous individuals, and I would not be surprised if they committed any more you know, further crimes in front of their home as they did with me. According to the arrest report, Javier Lopez and Jonathan Casanova were blocking the sidewalk where Christopher Manzon was passing out flyers for Republican candidates Rubio and Governor Ron DeSantis. When an argument argument broke out that turned physical, sending the victim to the hospital. Look at this, look at this, look at this, Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. This is a cell phone video of the altercation that happened in front of Lopez's home. Co-defendant Casanova also in court today. He's out on bond. He did not testify, but he spoke to us afterwards, saying this was not politically motivated. So if everybody has anger, issues, every man, every male, you know, and I've been focusing on a whole, a whole lot of myself, my inner self, you know, and it's been six or seven years since I got into any conflicts, you know. And, you know, like, it's, it's, it was just, I can't believe I'm here. The victim in this case, Monzone, says he does not support any type of violence and looks forward to having justice served. But I hope that this never happens to any person, canvasser, whatever it is, whoever it is ever again. And that I pray that we can all take a lesson away from this and prevent this from happening to anybody ever again in the future. The trial is set for late January. We'll continue to follow this case. Reporting live in Miami, Heather Walker, NBC6 News.